next up, the uh, information architecture, which is uh, the art of forming content into relevant structures that focus on the user experience interacting with the content. So the goal here is to build systems that are easy to understand, simple to use, and enable the finding of the desired content. New site's a perfect example where they may have thousands of articles. At some point, someone had to decide the structure, the categories, the navigation, all these things that ultimately organize our content. And this structure has a, a real impact on how easy it is for a user to find the content they're looking for. This is essentially what information architecture is. So why does this uh, topic in a, uh, in a lesson focused on digging into the design process make sense? Well, it, uh, it uh, actually makes really good sense because oftentimes designers are inadvertently taking on the role of information architect, especially in smaller sites. If you have a site with less than, say, 50 pages, there's a pretty good chance there's not an information architect involved. In, in fact, um, in most cases, it's not. I would say a small amount of sites actually make use of someone dedicated to this role. So the designer sort of inadvertently takes on this role. So I think it's a good thing to be aware of, to understand, and to start to think about. Basically, when you're designing a site, you need to remember you're not creating static pages that are going to be used in the same order every single time. It's actually quite the opposite. Users are going to land on any and every page of your site via search engines or links, and the expected routes through content are going to be totally unexpected. Like, you're not going to be able to predict consistently how people will go. Now, there might be some trends that emerge, but there's always going to be a huge variety in terms of how people actually sift through your content. So with this in mind, we need to ensure that the design effectively communicates the context of a page as a part of the entire site, and that it enables users to easily find what they're looking for. Again, this is exactly what info architecture is. So it might uh, be impossible to carefully consider info architecture as you begin to design websites, but I really think that it's critical to realize that it exists, and uh, it's something I believe you will revisit in the future as you really start to absorb it better.